This is a taking of resources and a reallocating them, ironically, not from the rich to the poor, but from the poor to the rich. People stand to lose their homes, their cars. This indeed becomes a predatory loan. I stand this morning with a group of citizens from across Mississippi representing many civic organizations who stand with me in our opposition to House Bill 1396. House Bill 1396 would have a debilitating effect on families. Therefore, we strongly oppose this bill in its current form. As the bill is currently written, the fees and interest are too high and will hurt working families struggling to make ends meet. Under the current law, the interest rate is kept at 36% annual percentage rates. This bill would increase that to 99%. On a typical $1,500 loan, the monthly payments would increase by $66 per month. To a struggling family, that can mean the difference between buying gas or paying a utility bill, between groceries and paying for child care. These are not the options that we want our families to have to face. The current law is sufficient and there, it needs no changes. House Bill 1396 will make it more expensive for working families to get these loans in times of emergency. We are asking the Senate Business and Financial Institutions Committee to kill this bill. More time is needed to study this bill and the impact that it will have on working families. The economy is trying to stabilize. So now is not the time to increase costs on financial products that are being offered to struggling families. But as a person of faith, I would hope that the conscience and the moral fiber of our legislators will be pricked by the unjust nature of this bill. We that we could go from 36% to 99% in the poorest state in the country is ludicrous and unbelievable. The fact that the people who will access this small loan, who already are at risk, would look to have to work an extra seven hours a week, maybe, to pay the extra amount of money that they would have to make to pay for this increase in interest.